One of the most common questions that we get in En-ROADS support is how to prohibit previously deleted triangles from being redisplayed if the surface is retriangulated. Let me first explain why this happens. An En-ROADS DTM is feature based. So what that means is that even if you delete triangles that are present in the DTM, the features that were used to create those triangles remain. The features themselves are not deleted. Therefore, if you retriangulate the surface, the entire surface will be regenerated and any triangles that have been deleted will also be recreated. So what I'm going to show you here is a method in which you can use an exterior boundary to prohibit those deleted triangles from being redisplayed in the event that you need to retriangulate the surface. So I have loaded a proposed surface here and I'm just going to display those triangles. And you can see that I have lots of long skinny triangles here that are being that are being created along this curve. And for obvious reasons I want to delete these from my model. So to do that I'll just go to surface edit surface, delete triangle. I'll click apply and I can go in and select the triangles to be deleted. Let's go back in a little closer here to make sure that we get all of them. Now you can see that our model is more representative of what we actually want to show. Now, if we go in and redisplay these triangles at this point, and I'll use a different color, you can see that none of those deleted triangles reappear. However, if we go in and retriangulate the surface, when we redisplay the triangles, Just as I described before, those deleted triangles are regenerated and reappear. So let me just quickly go back in and take these out again using the delete triangle command. And this time what I want to do is import an exterior boundary into my surface to prohibit triangulation outside of that area. I'm going to use my surface perimeter as that exterior boundary. So I'll just go in and display my perimeter. And then I'll use the command file import surface to import that perimeter as the exterior boundary. I'm going to make sure that I have the correct surface loaded. I'm going to load from single element. In the case of an exterior boundary, the elevations are irrelevant. I'm going to key in a seed name. And I'll just give it a feature style. And I want to make sure to set the point type to exterior. I'll click apply. I'm prompted to identify the element, so I'll go in and identify the boundary and accept it. And now if we take a look at our surface properties, you can see that that exterior boundary has been added. Now if I go in and retriangulate the surface and redisplay the triangles, You can see that the exterior boundary that's present prohibits any of those deleted triangles outside of the boundary from reappearing.